Yes, here it is, gang. We're here for the final of the Welsh Cup here. Can we take down Airbus, who have been flying high in the Cups, but not the league? I think we can. Let's go do it. G'day, folks. Welcome back to Chump the Chair. My name's Wailers, but most people call me Wally. Today, we've got the Welsh Cup final against Airbus UK and then the end of season. Awards and presentations afterwards. We've got many players in line to win the Cymru Player of the Year award. This is our chance at the treble. Let's get into it. Without further ado, we're going to introduce the starting lineup here. We've gone with Dan Lavercombe and goal in front of Ejihiri. We signed him as the cup goalkeeper. We'll probably extend his contract as the backup goalkeeper ongoing. He's done such a good job on us for the Cups. I didn't feel right letting him sit on the bench here. As good as Ejihiri is the edge hero, Lavercombe's got his chance here. We go in with the back five that we've run with the last few games. Newton, Barrett, Finney, Burrows and Lewis. It is worth noting though that Levi Sutton is fit again and has his chance to participate in some silverware this year. I think he deserves it for sticking around on an amateur contract with a broken leg and for that early form and his form in the European competitions for us. Hunt and Clark in the centre of the park. Ashley Seal, Dirty Harry and the Brigadier Lethbridge up front. Ewan Bang is the unlucky guy to miss out. He's injured, and I'm not willing to risk an injured player going into the final here. So let's get into it. Let's take on Airbus here, and really, really, let's finish this season with a complete Ewan Bang. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. That was terrible. Ah, righty-o. Righty-o. Excitement is high here. Excitement is high. All right, boys, go out there. Win the trophy, show everyone what you're capable of. They're motivated. I, um, oh, look, I'm, look, 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 the, the ass man can answer that question. I'm not going to justify my selection to some journalist on the sideline there. It's just not happening. It's not happening. It was not obvious that Glavicum has been my cup goalkeeper all year. You're pretty terrible at your job there, lads. Let's throw out some encouragement here. Before the highlight comes on, we're going to go on the front foot and get positive here. I expect Airbus to park the bus here. Pardon the pun. Oh, geez, there's too many buses to be had there. I mean, they're flying high. They're parking the bus. What else can I do? Wood, who has been identified as their danger man. Finney, uh, star defender, cuts it out. And they take an early lead. No. No, 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 no. Not like this game. Come on. Come on. The treble's on the line here. You've already thwarted me once by not letting me go undefeated for the rest of the season. We lost against TNS as well, by the way. So that's two games we've lost. Now let's go straight back and score here, boys. Let's go straight back down the other end of the pitch and score. Rightio. Dirty Harry with the ball now. Dirty Harry again on, his, on target to be... Well, not to be. To pick up his second Welsh Player of the Year award. Finney. Flips the ball over. That's not going to anyone. But Dirty Harry finds an Ashley Seal's offside. No, he's not. He's not. The flag is down. And Ashley Seal, we have gone straight back. And we have leveled this match here. Let's not. Let, 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 let's not bottle this one, gentlemen. Let's not bottle it. Come on. Let, let, let's throw some more encouragement out there. Come on. Come on, boys. You got this. Jake Barrett doesn't want to be encouraged. That, no, boss. I don't need encouragement. I'm good enough. Clark over the ball here. Clark's been very good the last few matches. Finney, and it's a penalty. Oh, Dirty Harry. Dirty Harry gets a lot chance to line up and be a hero. I'm rubbing my hands with excitement here, gang. I'm rubbing my hands with excitement. Harry steps up. He sends the keeper the wrong way, and Dirty Harry scores. Fantastic. Let's, 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 let's get some fireworks out for Dirty Harry. Woo. Dirty Harry. I mean, how good is Dirty Harry? I mean, I'm being told... Well, I've been told every season, literally, by the recruitment and coaching staff to get rid of Dirty Harry because he's just not good enough to play in the team. And yet, every time, every time, he proves me wrong, proves them wrong. And I just I just can't not pick him. I can't. I mean, he's keeping you and Bang out. I mean, you and Bang had three good games, bad games, and I've brought Dirty Harry in, and you and Bang hasn't got his spot back since. Lewis, that's... Uh, strange how that didn't pop out. Ashley Seal again. I'd back Ashley Seal in the air. I mean, this is a good thing. All three of my strikers are good in the air. Ashley Seal is quick and good in the air. Lethbridge is good. The amount of goals that Lethbridge has scored 
from crosses from Newton across the ground there. Unbelievable. This tactic, guys, I'm going to do a video on this tactic because it has really been like, it, it really has been the Welsh Dragon. I think we're going to rename it. We've just been dominant this season. I mean, we've lost two games in all competitions this season so far. I've just completely jinxed us there, haven't I? And Dirty Harry is there, and he scores! Is Dirty Harry going to finish this season with a hat trick? He is well on target. We're only 34 minutes in here, viewers. Viewers, you're the gang. The Dr. Benji's crew are the viewers. You're my viewers. You're the gang. He's, we've, he's got almost an hour to score that third goal. And Airbus, look at sixes and sevens at the back against our attacking prowess. However, I always do worry about these highlights when you get one from the kickoff. As you saw, we've just gone from the kickoff on a highlight previously to level the match earlier. Are they going to go back and do the same thing? That is a good ball for De Silva. Uh, defenders are a bit off target there. And see? 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 You play football manager long enough. You learn these things. 3-2 to us still. But we're looking. Let, let, let's not wobble, boys. We've got this. We've got this. Kane Lewis looking a bit tired there. Clark over the ball here. Harry. Dirty Harry. Has an early chance there to complete the hat trick. But no cigar for Dirty Harry. Right, let's go here. Let, let's go win the trophy, guys, and show everyone what we're capable of. Let's pump them up. You know what? They can do it. I know we can do it here. We're going to stay positive early in the... Oh, stay positive. It's a free kick for us here. Clark puts it in. Ashley Seal! Offside. Offside. Flags up. Offside. That's a great strike, though, by Ashley Seal. Look at this. Well, the whole team's lined off offside. That One of my big gripes about Football Manager 21, that entire team offside rubbish. Really, really. It, it gets frustrating. It really does. It really, really does. Rightio. With half an hour to go. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like this game. Not like this. Barrett gets up high enough here. Jake Barrett. Not having a good game. So I think my substitutions here, I'm looking at bringing Dickinson on. Is it Dickinson? I think it is. It's his name, isn't it? Dickinson on at the at the back and bringing Levi Sutton on. Oh, Finney cuts that out nicely. That's what he's there for. Hunt to Ashley Seal. Back to Hunt. Newton with space on the flank now. You should have options in the middle. Hesitates a bit there, Newton. That's not what I like to see. But he's found Lethbridge, and Lethbridge was wide open, and he has muffed it. Absolutely muffed it. Rightio. Off you come, Jakey Barrett. Had enough of you. Dickinson comes on there. We'll, um, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll pump the fist. Get out there make a difference. Pleased and motivated. I am pleased and motivated as well. This is a little bit more nerve-wracking than our previous cup encounter against Airbus, especially as they have a free kick now. Coop. Cop? Coop? No flag. And there we go. Are we going to muff this at the last? Oh, come on, boys. Come on. Don't want to see your stinking replay. Don't want to see it. Don't want to see it. Don't want to see it. Right. We. I think we're going to bring Kane Lewis off. He's not playing the best. So we're going to bring Kane Lewis off. And that is a no-brainer for Levi Sutton. Pump the fist. I really want some silverware for this boy. Broke his leg early in the season after looking like he's going to be an absolute star for us. Clark finds Harry. Hunt now. Out to Newton. Newton plays a lovely ball for Ashley Seal. Ashley Seal with a bit of pace. Spins. Looks for Lethbridge. Back to Harry. Oh, there's his chance for his hat trick, but he's denied by an acrobat ab 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 acrobatic save from the Airbus keeper there. Flying through the air, the Airbus keeper. Oh, geez. Come on, boys. Extra time. Oh, no. Lethbridge is hurt. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, God blimey. God blimey. Gethin Cox comes on there. Uh, I'm going to swap him with Ashley Seal. Um, can Ashley Seal play advanced forward? He can a bit. It's not his best role, though. Do I play him as that pressing forward there? And try and create that like Dirty Harry type thing there. No, I don't. I think I'm just going to play him as a poacher. No, no, no. He's going to play as the advanced forward. 
I can trust him. I can trust him. Give team talk. Pump fist. Step up and show everyone why we're capable in this match. A lot of pressure on the young 16-year-old shoulders here and Gethin Cox. Oh, five minutes of extra time. I, I expected, I'm going to be honest, guys, I expected to, to walk this one. I really, really did. And um, what are we going to shout here? What are we going to shout? Uh, pump the fists. Don't let the effort be for nothing. Get out there, guys. Start extra time. Shouts. So we're going to encourage the entire team here. Right, Jones Thomas over free kick. We've been vulnerable for free kicks against these boys. Oh, no. Oh, geez, I had a heart attack there. Oh, wow. Come on. Williams now kicks it long. Now, normally back Finney in the air there, but he's lost out. Oh, come on. Come on, boys. I mean, Airbus, they've just been relegated. They've won. I think they've got an entire nine points for the season in the league. Oh, that was so close to being a penalty. No. Oh, come on, boys. Come on. Come on. I don't want to do this on penalties. I don't want to do this in penalties. It's not how we want to finish the season. Uh, Hesp, our old club legend, Hesp, is playing against us here. He's come on. Oh, no. You know what that means. He's going to score. We're going to encourage the boys again. Come on, lads. Come on. You've got this. Oh, do we have an extra substitution here? We've been given an extra substitution. What do we do? Do we take Ashley Seal off? Um, I'll sort. So we have... Oh, we've only made the two. That's all right. No, we've made three. So do we have... Must have an extra substitution. I really don't want to take Ashley Seal off. What's his penalties? How good is he taking penalties? 12. No, he's not coming off. He's definitely not coming off. Ah, there's a lot of tired players here. Ben Clark could come off for Kearsley, though. Uh, pump the fist, make a difference. Come on, lads. That's all we need is one goal, and it's penalties. Ooh, geez, Ashley Seal comes in in front of George Harry. Cox, Burrows. Kearsley. Oh, team talk. Oh. <laughs> oh. Pack yourselves. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Ashley Seal steps up to take the first one. Oh, come on. Can't believe this has come to penalties. Good start. Good start. Lavakin. Has a chance to make himself a hero against Creamer here. Creamer steps up. He hits the ball. Oh. Oh. Dirty Harry. Steps up. Dirty Harry. Yes, lovely. Well played. De Silva. Oh. oh, I can't watch. I can't watch. Oh, that's... Oh, Gethin Cox. <laughs> All right, going well so far. Come on, one save. One save or one muff. I don't care which one it is. I don't care which one it is. Muffet, Muffet. Boom! Oh, it goes under the keeper. I thought he had it. Oh, no. Burrow steps up. Been strong for us in defence all year, Burrows. Called up on now to take a penalty and makes no mistake. Sends the keeper the wrong way. Oh, this is... Oh. I want this treble so badly. Yes! The save! Come on, 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 come on. Oh, come on, come on. Oh. God, I've got the words. I'm full of words and I've got none of them. Not even word salad. Gearsley steps up. Yes. 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 We've done it. We have done it. Oh, and all the times for my control pad to go on standby. We're going to need it in a second because you know the tradition around here. When there's trophies, there's fireworks in the background here. And... 
And we lift the trophy here. The third one of the season. And we've done it. We've won the treble. Yes. Oh, my best season in football manager ever, I reckon. Ever. Evan? Ever, I reckon. Fantastic stuff. And again, the cartwheel is blocked. No, there it is. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, smash the like button for that, gang. Oh, you got to love that. And Lavacom gets his trophy. Sutton gets his name on the winner's list in the last game of the season. Some of those lads have three trophies to their name. And, oh, look, we had them for XG all match. We just, we, we, that was, that was looking like the mother of all FMings, but we've overcome it in penalties. Yes, 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 yes. Woo! Oh, that's huge. Outstretch arms. You did it. Enjoy the celebrations. We've all worked hard for this moment. Why is George Hunt nervous? He shouldn't be nervous. Whew. That was huge, gang. That was absolutely huge. Do the double. We got unlocked an achievement and everything. Morale seems really high now. Yeah, football's really simple. If the players are happy, we win games. How about that for a comeback? My heart was pumping. <laughs> oh, that's no hint of a lie. My heart was pumping. It still is. Uh, we're hopeful Lethbridge is okay. We haven't even had a look yet. I oh, just, just, we'll worry about that after the game. Oh, <laughs> actually, Seal ends gold route. It wasn't like he was overly short of a goal. Hey, woo! Famous treble for Ketham Druids. Oh, <laughs> I cannot. I, I, words cannot explain how excited I am. Three to four weeks for Lethbridge. He'll be fine. That's good. He'll be back in time for Europe. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Kevin Druids, yeah, win money. Ashley Seal hands goal drought. Yeah, we'll praise Ashley Seal's performance. Put on round superb in front of goal last time. Thank you, mate. Onotti enters Hall of Fame. That's me. One of the best managers to ever worked in Wales after winning the JD Welsh Cup. Put into the Hall of Wales Hall of Fame. And just by his reason, I could set even greater heights. Let's view the Hall of Fame. Who are we in there with? Limerick, uh, opposite number. That is good. We're ninth on the Hall of Fame. Ninth on the Hall of Fame. Fantastic stuff. Fantastic stuff. Whew. Don't hold any of the records, but Craig Harrison holds all the records, and let me guess, he managed TNS. Wow. Wow. Well, we'll be back to you in a minute with the end of season review. Here we are, folks. It's the end of season review, so let's get straight into it. You know the drill here, guys. So, signing of the season, Bradley Lethbridge. Well, let's face it, no one's going to argue with that. Average rating of 7.5 across the league season, 18 goals, 5 assists. Led the line at the start of the season until Ashley Seal came in. Moved to a more creative role after that, and I think we found where he plays really well. For me, probably Finney was more important. Uh, those two goals late in the season were good when we were struggling for goals in a couple of games there, but just so solid at the back. Ashley Seal, great signing. What So we're only been given a C- minus for Lethbridge, even though he's the signing of the year. Ashley Seal, only a C. Levi Sutton, no rating, but four assists in, in the 11 appearances. Was really, really good in our European campaign. Well, Dan Lavakin, just... What can I say? That he'll go down in history for that little save he made in the cup final there. Fantastic stuff there. Dickinson, very, very, very solid bit part player. 23 appearances as a substitute. A 6.91, playing a hard field there. Only the five signings, and I think that was a big difference for us, is that we only made five signings that made a difference instead of bringing in a whole heap of guys that were going to just upset team dynamics. Um, a plus. Of course, we got an A plus. We won every trophy. So we're in the Champions League. I think that means we're in the Champions League. We'll see. I don't even know how we go there. The Euro 2 Cup, I think that was really good. We were really, really, we showed some spirit against Maccabee Tel Aviv there. 
That was really good. We've won the Welsh Cup, obviously, and it's only a B for winning the MG Cup and only a B plus for winning the Welsh Cup. Who gives these grades out? Seriously, who gives these grades out? The goal of the season, yes, remember that one against Bangor City. Unfortunately, it was the match we lost, but that was an absolute screamer from Clark, who has one finishing and a low long shot rating as well, but belted it from 25 yards. Absolute cracker of a goal. That game against Bangor City, that was good as well, and like just demolishing them Airbus in the cup final. Huge credit to Airbus for pushing us in that last game, and it was just just amazing. The finances, oh my God, the club is so rich. <laughs> it doesn't show you on this graph, but I'll show you later. We've made so much money by going as far as we did in Europe. I will ask the club to become professional for next season and see if we're down for that. There are takeover rumors going around at the moment. Probably didn't help our run towards the end of the year. How can our club reputation have not have improved? We've won three trophies and we make it to the second round of the European qualifiers. Football manager, get your act together. So look at that. So 500K, just over under 600K prize money, doubling our income from prize money last year. All the other incomes up as well, significantly, significantly, except match day commercial and rental. But that's only down by the slightest of amounts. And I think that's probably do, probably do, probably to do with away draws rather than home draws in the cup there. So this is how they reckon our best 11 is. Let's have a look and see what we think. Ejahiri in goal. Absolutely. Newton, Lever, Burrows, and Finney. Yeah, I wouldn't line them up in those positions, but yeah, pretty much. And Kane Lewis. Yep, also agree. Clark and Kearsley. Yeah, to be fair, Clark and Kearsley were the best two midfielders, even though they swap positions. Found it hard to drop Hunt because he always seemed to come through with that assist or that good game, but I will be probably looking at changing how we run in that midfield and probably getting Kearsley to train as a box-to-box -box midfielder for next season if we don't make improvements there. I think a really, really classy midfielder would provide us some ability to cut deeper into the European competition if I do stay around again. And that's a big if, guys. I don't. A job at Schalke has just opened up in Germany. Interested in that. Don't know if any of you watch Lelujo, but he's just gone to Schalke in Germany. Might be interesting to see if we can keep up with him over there. It's a bit of a challenge. Uh, and up front, Ashley Seal, Lethbridge, Dirty Harry. Absolute no-brainers. Everyone averaging more than a seven. What a fantastic season. What a fantastic season. Um, I got three Manager of the Month awards. Um, fans Player of the Season, Dirty Harry. Fair enough. Lethbridge Young Player of the Season. Started as an under-23, so again, fair enough. Signing of the Season, Lethbridge, we already saw that. Goal of season, Clark Rooter saw that. Dirty Harry ends up as top goal scorer. All right, he scores a lot from the spot. Let's be honest there. Lethbridge and Bang are probably a little bit hard done by there. To, I mean, you and Bang's form early in the season was fantastic, and they're probably a little bit hard done by not to have outscored Dirty Harry there. Most assists, Dirty Harry. Again, Dirty Harry tastes the set, set pieces. I do wonder if that's why he... Well, I don't wonder. I know that's why he rates so well, but... I don't have anyone better to take set pieces, but he will be losing his spot kick duties to Ashley Seal next season. Most player of the match awards, Dirty Harry. Highest average rating, Alex Finney. Now, I think Alex Finney should win the Cumbria Premier Player of the Year, if I'm quite honest. And Kearsley, the best passer, in, one of the best passers in the team. No surprise there to see him wrap up that little award there. Most goals by player in a match this season, Kearsley again. A hat-trick from Kearsley from the midfield when he was really on form in the middle of the season there. It was great to see. Edge hearing 19 clean sheets. I do believe that's a record. Uh, most player of the match awards, eight for Dirty Harry. Also believe that's a record. And Dirty Harry is also our top league goal scorer now with 47 in total. What do the media say? Kevin Druids look the class above in the first couple of months of the season. A few would have expected this outcome, but they gave themselves a chance and have reaped the rewards that we certainly have. There's the treble, guys. <laughs> if, that, like, if that's not worth the like, guys, you know, just just like this video because it's just abs we've done we've done the bits. We have done the bits. Right, let's have a look at our best eleven squad here. 
So, Ejihiro is still not... How oh, Ejihiro is not our best goalkeeper? I don't know, but here's our best lineup. It's finally changed to the 5-2-3 that we play. Ramsey in goal, a back five. The all-time defense of the Asians here. Newton, Barrett, Burrows, Lever, and Lewis. Fair enough. Finney's a new addition, so he probably hasn't pushed his way in yet. Kearsley, Dirty Harry, they've included in the midfield there. All right, he sometimes plays as a shadow striker, but not very often. And up front, Ewan Bang, Cody Roberto, and Williams. So on the bench, we have Edger here. He's made the bench. Rico Brown, obviously. Pavel Vieira and Charlie Edge back from the good old days. And Jose Ferreira is still there. G'day, Jose. Hope you're watching. Bradley Lethbridge and Gethin Cox. I'm just so excited here. I am just so excited. Right. There's one more award we're waiting for, and we'll be back to you when those results come through. All right, gang, let's round out the episode here with the final series of awards here. So just to reinforce how good we were, that's our best ever finish. We've never won this title before by the looks of it. So the best we got was the second that we finished the last two years under my leadership, 70 points. We ended up winning the league by 14 points, so that was... Pleasing, even though I oh, would have loved to have gone invincible, but we lost two games. But two games, that that's not too bad. Edgehiri sets a new clean sheet record for the coming Premier. So that's how defensively solid we were. Absolutely fantastic. Ebby wins the Player of the Year. This is the guy I voted for. I kind of wish I hadn't voted for him now. Oh, well, it is is what it is. Poor old... um. Dirty Harry, or um, who was the other guy, Finney, that we thought might win? Doesn't get there. Kearsley also had the option. I mean, there were four of our players in there, so I guess it kind of diluted the votes that they might have got from the other managers. I'm not allowed to vote for my own players. So Daniel Ebby wins it. The Irish striker does well. I've won Cymru Premier Manager of the Year award. Absolutely stoked by that. Absolutely stoked by that. My um, director of football was stoked with me, so he bloody well should be. I'm the boss here, not him, despite what he might think. Look at look at that. We have turned around the team of the season that was... Remember the last four seasons, gang? It was completely TNS. So we've got Ejihiri in there, Newton, Burrows, Finney, all in there. Hunt and Kearsley in the centre of the park and Dirty Harry up front next to Abby. Well, I, I, I think you can safely say if it was other than the player of the season, if you could achieve it in Wales this year, we've done it. We have done it. I just like that the steam achievements have been going off like almost every time I hit the, the next turn button. He gets his little bonus there, Dirty Harry. Contract runs out in a few days. I kind of feel obliged to give him a new one. Always, though... The problem is that I'm going to sign more guys and I'm not going to be able to register him. I'm going to have to send him out on loan and that is just going to ruin all sorts of things. But we are going to ask one more thing now. Is it available here? We're going to go to club info. There's no club vision. Uh, mate report request. Where's turn professional? Let's see if we can get professional status. They'll let us know their decision. Well, when they get back to us with a decision, we'll be back to you and we'll let you know. Right, gang, you can see here that they've rejected my request to turn professional. They think that we're doing all right. Should I discuss it with the board? Yeah, let's have a discussion. Let's see if we can go. Every club wants to sign the best players possible. We must live in our means. We must reject this request. Because we're going to catch up in the transfer market if this doesn't happen. We're confident going forward without granting this request. All right, I'm not going to push my point. Well, that's disappointing. That is disappointing. Well... I, it's it, it's a minor annoyance. A minor annoyance compared to all the success we've had this season. We've won the treble! All right, gang, this is what the current job market looks like out there. I mean, Bayern Munich's free. Do I just apply and have a go? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I want you to sound off in the comments. Let me know if you think I should be applying for another job or not. Or should I sit on it, go through the European qualification, get my name out there more, and then perhaps take over another club. I mean, some great jobs here. I mean, yeah, wouldn't mind taking over Livy. That'd be a good job. Oh, look at these these Belgian clubs here. Um, yeah. I mean, France would be France would be hard up against it. But I thought Wales was hard up against it. And we, we've beaten TNS. We, we, we've absolutely wiped the floor with everyone in the division. There's a lot of jobs there. And even if we go down to like the, the League 1 and League 2 jobs, I mean, 
I mean, Shrewsbury would be good fun. Maybe Stevenage would be good fun, you know. Yeovil, yo, my stepmom used to live there. Oh, so many choices. Let me know what you think anyway. I may have made a decision before I read your comments because it's probably recorded. In fact, it is recorded in advance, but let me know what you think anyway. Well, what an amazing episode, guys. We've got the treble. Smash the like button for the treble. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as I drop a new episode. Don't forget to drop what you think in the comments about what I should do with my career moving forward. My name's Waylands. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.